You're very welcome back. Now, after seven weeks locked up in a house with 18 other people, including a potential new boyfriend, Ireland's newest reality star, Huey Mon, found himself runner-up on Big Brother last Tuesday night. And coming in second place made the social media world go bananas. <laughs> Beaten by Jason, got us asking, well, how did that happen? Well, maybe Huey himself knows. He joins us now. Morning, Huey. Morning. Hi, Huey. Hello. So welcome the first home. question is... Thank you. How did you not win it? That's everybody's question. Um, yeah. When I was in the house, I didn't know I was so favoured to win. I think it was just six or seven weeks in a row. Mm. I was favoured to win nearly since the start. Um, I don't really know what happened, but I kind of, for me, I thought like Letitia or Alex was going to win the show, but everybody just keeps on asking the question, how did you w not win? How did Jason win? I don't even want an answer to give. At the end of the day, the public picked him to win it, and... He'd done it whatever way he'd done it, he, got, he, he was, got it. But he was booed when he came out. Yeah, yeah but I suppose that's only a crowd of a few hundred I people. Suppose, that's yeah, not yeah. the entire public. And it was only half a percent between the two of us. There was nothing in it, Yeah, was there was nothing in it. Ten minutes before, remembering the voting statistics, I was a good bit ahead of everybody. In that ten minutes, something obviously happened. It changed. And that's how he won it. I, I, I would never have predicted him to win, but he has won a fair and square, so... But you've taken lots from it, uh, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, coming out of the house, it's a bit of an adjustment coming home, I'd imagine, is it? Yeah, so when you go in, um, that becomes your new natural. You forget the cameras are there. Everything like Big Brother telling you what to do, come into the diary room, tasks, everything like that becomes your new normal. Things that if you're in the outside world, you'd look and go, Jesus Christ, like, what's all, like, why, do you, why do you like this, why do you like that? People behaving that way becomes normal to you. Yeah. So when I come out seeing a car, if you walk down the street and you've never been in the media before and somebody just shouts your name out through the window, it does types of things is a bit strange. It's bizarre, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so... Because you're, you've been very proud and vocal about your traveller routes. Yeah, yeah, where I come from, yeah. Yeah, and... Um, you're, you, you work as a youth worker. Yeah, yeah. So, coming out of the house having, having been the runner-up, which, you know, you did fantastically oh, yeah, well, by huge, the way. Just to get on Still the show is brilliant, yeah. yeah. What was the thought process here? Why did you enter it? Did one of your mates say to you, you should have a go at that, you'd be yeah, great, right? so in January, I was watching the celebrity series with my cousin, and I've always been a fan of reality television, stuff like that, and I, I like new experiences, but I was watching it with my cousin, and we were chatting about it, and then I got an email address, and I emailed them, and they met me in Dublin for an interview, and it just kind of went on from there, like a long process until okay. like April, and I got on the show, and they said they want me to do it. And, and of course, when you get on, then you can't tell anybody you're going to do it. No, no I couldn't tell anybody. That must be really hard. Yeah, so it? my parents, my family, nobody knew anything. Nobody. One or two like friends that I could <clears> really trust, and then I kind of right before I went, a few days, obviously I had to tell my parents I couldn't mm. disappear because before you go into the house, you're took into hiding for a week, which basically is like being in the Big Brother house but no cameras. Okay. Mm. You can't go anywhere on your own. You can't have your phone. You can't go online. You can't watch television. You're in a hotel room. So you are embargoed ultimately for a week. Yeah, so I kind of get you used to that. So I couldn't disappear for that week without my parents knowing anything. Okay. So I had to tell and what, them. When you, when you told your parents, what did they say? Did they oh, say, they're happy. Oh. Like they're saying, oh, if there's something you want to do, go on and do it. I am an adult, so it's up to me, whatever I want to do. Um, but it's for them, like, I don't think they could imagine a worse nightmare to do themselves. Like, my older sister <laughs> could never imagine sitting down surrounded. I think they said something, it was like 200, not 200 cameras, like 100 cameras or something throughout the complex. And the public watching you, she could never do that. But for me, it depends happy. on the kind of person yeah. you are. The other thing you had to tell your family before you went into the house it's is that you're bisexual. Yeah. yeah. How did that go down? Um, some of my friends knew, some of my family knew. I hadn't told everybody. I didn't feel necessary to tell everybody. Sure. Um, but um, whoever I told, some weren't shocked, some was, and they were just happy for me to be myself and who I am. And I was never going to go on a show and hide something like that. I went on, it was completely me, and um, mm -hmm. if somebody asks you a question about your life, well, I think you should answer honestly. Mm -hmm. If you don't, it's almost like you feel there's something wrong with it, and if there's something wrong with it, then, like, why then... You know what I mean? So why not just be honest so with yourself? There's nothing wrong with it. So out of to your parents, you wanted to tell them first, yeah, I told, rather than saying it on national yeah. television, I suppose. Well, I didn't have a full <clears throat> conversation with them. Mm. I had a little bit of a one, but then my sister did, and they knew before it ever went out on TV, so it was fine. Good. And w when you're in the house, Huey, you know, I know a lot of people have said, you know, that have come out of the house since, they said that you do tend to forget that the cameras are there, but is it always in the back of your mind that, you know, 
got my mum and dad to be watching or, or my, my family to be watching. Does that make you change what you're doing in there? or? No, not at all. I, I, you can't go in and I think 24 hours a day in that type of environment constantly have anything in your head. You have yeah. to adjust and adapt. If you don't, you, you just, you'd be homesick. You won't be able to be in there. Like, for me, I just forgot about everything, got all my things. It was completely natural to me and I'm an adult at the end of the day. But if I'm going to sit down and think, this person can see this, this person can see that. Every time I do something, well, then I'm just going to be overthinking everything and driving myself well, prob mad. That's probably why you went so far <clears> in the competition, because you were just completely yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's no pretending to be someone else. You mm. also uh, had, a, had a romance going on, yeah. um, which did you yeah. no harm in the popularity <laughs> stakes. Some accused it of being a showmance rather than a romance. How, yeah. how do you feel about that? Uh, that's their opinion. If I couldn't handle opinions, I wouldn't put myself on national television. True, yeah. And it is a popularity contest <clears> in the sense that it's run by people's opinions. Um, it's not true that it's fake. I wouldn't do that. Um, well, we're together now, we've been together on the outside. I just came back from London um, yesterday and I was waiting for a few days and I'm going back over on Wednesday to do a bit on the side for Big Brother for a celebrity show and then I'm going to stay with him until Sunday with one or two other friends. So no, it's not So fair. is it on? Is it a relationship? Oh, yeah, yeah, are you, are you together? That. Yeah, we've confirmed that and uh, <clears throat> we've done an interview in, in London um, a few days ago and we confirmed it and that, yeah, it's, yeah. Mad about each other? Yeah, well, it's been eight weeks, but... Um, yeah, of course, I really want to be one, but it's just a matter of now adjusting to being together in the outside world and yeah. me being over here and, and like him in the UK. Is so it true that he back. got a tattoo with your name yeah, across he has his a, heart? Yeah, yeah, he showed it on the, he done it, came into the, <laughs> back into the show, he was evicted and came back in <clears throat> um, during a task and then he showed it. Social done? media went crazy. You didn't get, a, get one in return? No, no everybody keeps on asking <laughs> me that. And I didn't, even, pressure. I didn't even deny it. And then it came out in the Daily Mirror, no, the, sorry, OK Magazine, that Huey um, says no to Ryan Tattoo. And almost like I said it in a rude way. And yeah. I didn't. I didn't say that I would or I wouldn't. It was just... No, it's I your listen, what Huey, that's, that's one of the biggest adjustments you'll have. You've got to deal with all that kind of stuff yeah. now every single day. And so does he. And mm -hmm. as a couple... Yeah. You're going to have to deal with and that. And it's completely you. different in the UK in terms of the, the media attention and the press. Yeah. It's, I, I, it's a more... There's a more of it. Does that make sense? I yeah, think there's a, a lot yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, Emma Willis said that her favourite moment from the series was... In the pool, falling was you the twerking. I'm falling yeah. in the pool, yeah. Yeah, I know you had a few loopers on board that night, hadn't you? You had a yeah. few jars on. Here it is here, look. There is there. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say what was going through your mind, but your knees were at the, at the time. Yeah, but I think what um, happened... Uh, falling in the pool was a complete accident. I was just really... Um, Really drunk, kind of at that stage, but fall, I was just having a laugh, really. Yeah. And then I just ended up falling in the pool. Yeah. What was the hardest? It added to the fun, I think, didn't it? Yeah. Huey, what was the hardest thing about being in the house? What, what was the... What did you miss most? Oh, what did I miss? The uh, hardest thing wasn't anything that I missed. Um, you miss everyone. You miss your family, friends, even your phone. You miss day-to-day -day things. Um, but the hardest thing, I think, for us was almost paranoia and not knowing what was going to happen. You genuinely don't know a thing. This year they changed the series but in two houses. And um, it was almost like in one house you got an insight into the other and it was constantly, was it things where we basically, was the joke on us, what, did they know everything about us when they were, we were led because to believe? Because there's so many twists and the, turns yeah, in the production of this so show. So paranoid. You don't, people was leaving during tasks. People yeah. was going into the diary room and going home. So did it get to a point, Huey, where you didn't know what to believe? No, you didn't know. You just didn't take... We've stopped... We made a decision, every one of us, to stop speculating. Yeah, and it just messes got on with, with your it. mind, doesn't and it? And then I think two days later, two people was in the task and sent home a day before the final or something. What did your man think about it all? <clears throat> oh, she's really happy for me. She gets all excited. <laughs> um, but she's really happy for me to do something that I wanted to do. So I just went on the show and it was a great experience. And if I can get anything from it now and I've been asked to do loads of different stuff, well, then why would I not do it? Exactly. And she's really happy for me to do that. But well, so. as you say, you know, you went into it with an open mind and you like trying different things, new experiences. Mm. And if it leads to something different, grab it. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. It could do. be a great platform to yeah. launch but something you, else. You didn't, you didn't get on with everybody. No, I definitely the didn't, house. no. Uh, the nat Natalie. I mean, look, if you put a group of people together, some people aren't going to get on. Of course. But you had a couple of lovely steaming rounds yeah. with her. It's, the show's cast um, <clears throat> with 
people are different from each other. They're not yes, stupid. If I was making a show, they're not going to be all getting on with each other. Mm -hmm. If anything, none of them be getting on if I was a <laughs> producer. Um, no, she was just one of these people. She used to go around the house saying stuff, and a lot of the times lying. In her eviction interview, Emma Willis put it to her the comments that you said Huey had said. We went back, rewinded all the footage. He never actually said any of these things. <clears throat> um, she was doing it. She was just kind of building nests in people's ears. And she was stirring. Yeah, yeah, she, she didn't want to be nominated, playing. but in the end, she was nominated and left the house three days later. So because people, the public can watch everything. So. What amazes me about watching it, Huey, and it's the same with the celebrity one as well, is that mm. do they do they forget that the, that the public are watching them? Yeah, I think so. Do and they, that's how so. do they think they're going to get away with lying to people in, in, and storing? Yeah, in know? the end, I just stopped arguing with her. Um, because what I realised was I don't have to justify anything because the public know everything. Yeah. And I think there is a lot of times when people they do forget. It's not about always being aware of the public or watching. It's just um, sometimes people, I think, feel like they need to keep explaining themselves. And, and they need to keep performing. They go on for you four hours I mean, yeah. and keep on performing. Yeah. And it's, yeah, so. Uh, you pr you're predicting Marnie to win Celebrity oh, yeah, Big Brother, which is on TV3 yeah. at the moment. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think Marnie will win the show. Um, I think my reason for her is that obviously she's a massive fan base. She comes from a big reality show. Um, Geordie Shore. Yeah, star. with Geordie Shore, they always do quite well. But she's a younger person. She's fun. She's a big character. She's she outspoken. seems like a nice girl as well. Yeah, she's a really nice girl. I'm sure we'll see a different side of her on this than we do on the other shows. Um, but I think Marnie will will probably do very, very well, well, if not win the show. Time will tell. Listen, yes. Huey, thanks a million for coming Good in. Luck. We know you. you've had a busy time since you got out. We really <laughs> yeah. appreciate you coming in. Thank you. And the best of luck with whatever you do in the future. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank Huey. You. Thank you. Now, don't forget, if you're craving more Big Brother action, you can catch Celebrity Big Brother here on TV3 tonight at 9. Yes, up next, transitional pieces that'll take your summer wardrobe into autumn. Stay with us.